Hello everybody and welcome back to Avon Colony where we have built this lovely lovely base. Don't you love this base? It's so good. So much cool stuff in it. Maybe not the prettiest in the world. But they always start me off with like random arrays of things and it's like that's not the way I wanted to build this. I didn't want all these pods all over the place. Maybe I should just recycle them but ah, never mind. So anyway, we were in the middle of um, getting, we needed to get to a thousand electricity supply. We're at 897. We needed to reach 300 population and we needed to build a mill. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is to build the mill. If I can find it, which is here, I think. And there's just a nice little place to pop it, just right there, I think. Right near the habitat, right near the habitat there. So let's just start it going. And it's saying that we have a problem with air quality again, so... I, I, sh I should really look at this. Every time I build something, I should be looking at the air quality. Oh, it's just out to that new little bit over here. I haven't put in any sort of air quality modifiers over here yet. So we just need to put one of those next to the um, power station. And I need to learn, really, just every time I build any sort of power station, put a little air filter in. And we'll be good. I have a request for you from the inhabitants of the colony. Build two separate retail centers and place them in areas where many colonists can access them. Well, it just so happens I already built one. Because I love shopping. Okay. I need another one. Which will fit just there quite nicely, actually. So that'll be quite, quite close to the skyscraper. I like that idea. I like it quite a lot. Okay, so we've done the retail centres. Um, and we've got nanites and beer. Beer's always handy. They can sit in their retail centre drinking their beer. Or in their bar and grill drinking their beer. That's more likely, isn't it? Air quality is still bad. Still bad there as well. I just put an air filter in there. I'm sure it's getting better. I'm certain it is. I mean, I suppose we could just put a, a fan in there next to the. Well, apparently, I can't build one there. All right, uh, in here next to the uh, construction drones. Maybe they're causing a bit of uh, problem. That's 65 still. Uh, might be able to upgrade that one a bit more. That would help. Not sure if that will do the trick, but it, it's definitely going to help some. Now the food is still quite good. Um, excellent variety and excellent quality, and plenty per colonist, so that's always good. We have a new trade mission available. We appreciate the broccoli, but we would really appreciate some melons. Do you know, I don't even need to change the greenhouse for that because everything's. Oh, no, I don't want it to shut down. Because everything is making melons right now, so that should be really easy to do. Exporting the melons, so it's just a case of them loading them up into the trading dock there. So off it goes with its melons. Thousand power now. To do that, I'm going to need to upgrade a geotherm, but I think the one with the air quality issues is probably not the one to do. Uh, that's a tier two. This is a tier one. No, that's a tier two as well. So, probably our best bet then is to pop in a few extra um, solar panels just to bump it up. So, let's have a quick look at the solar panels. Up to 26 power, up to 260 power. We actually need another geotherm, I think. So let's see where we've got another vent. There's two back there. There's one over past here. In fact, there's two back there. Yeah, I think the way forward is going to be to come out here a little bit. see how far we can get. 
that's how far we can get. So I'll build a, another uh, construction drone just in the corner here with an apartment next to it as usual. And then hopefully we'll be able to shoot right out towards here, pick up this uh, cargo pod on the way. And then that will get us the power right up and it brings us a little bit closer to the unidentified object, which is all the way over here. Quite far away. Now we'll check our happiness and make sure that our colonists over here are happy. The ones there are not very happy. Why are you not happy? What's wrong? They don't have much entertainment. Okay, so that's probably a good time to build them something cool. Why don't you have a bar and grill? Because you don't need anything big, really. You just need something... Something to help them have a bit more happiness, you know? So a bar and grill for these guys too. The air filter is not very happy. Why is the air filter not very happy? They're getting happier. Morale. The commute is terrible. Three colonists are stuck. And they don't like walking through non-tunnel buildings. Right, okay. Why would they be stuck? I do not understand that. Oh, they seem to be getting a bit happier. Okay. Crowding, crime, commute, entertainment. Bar and grill. The commute is terrible. Did we not build apartments here? Oh no, I did not. I built an intake fan, apparently. <laughs> right, let's build another apartment there quickly. That would probably be why they're a little bit unhappy over there. Their commute is terrible. If their commute is only from this little apartment block, then they should be a little bit happier there. There we go. That's better. They're still not as happy as I would like them to be, though. They're not as happy as I would like them to be at all. Hello, Chief. I have been Antari oatmeal. Okay, you can wait for that for a bit. I'm looking at people's happiness right now. Why don't we build them something cool like a hospital? Yeah, that would be good. And a VR centre. I need to be quite careful of the nanites, so unfortunately. I think people would enjoy that. So what's wrong with those guys? Crime and they're not entertained enough, so the VR centre should help with the entertainment. Crowding. Hmm. Crowding's always gonna be a problem. There, that's helped a little bit. Maybe a bar on grill over here would help. But they seem to be getting happier and happier. 87% uh, average happiness, so I can cope with that. Okay, so we need Antari oatmeal apparently. So we have built a mill, I think. We haven't really used it yet. The lightning's getting all my tunnels again. Okay, so building destroyed by lightning, tunnel. Insufficient power, a farm lost power, and a building is not connected, a farm. Okay. That's probably all. It's time for a referendum election. Oh shush. All because that tunnel's gone. All of those notifications were just from one tunnel getting hit by lightning. It was pretty scary. Okay, so where's our mill? Our mill is here. I hadn't told it to do anything yet. Uh, what I would like it to do is to make some flour to start with. If I can. And I will use that to make entire oatmeal. Oh no, actually. No, because what I need is then my greenhouse to be making Antari. Which I can then make into Antari oatmeal. That's what I need. Antari, where are you? There, Antari. Creep. Oh, gee. No. No, no, no. I don't want creep. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your cool, we've got 300 
and we need 400 but we have creep to worry about and I'm glad it paused itself because that gives me a chance just to catch my breath and go oh there's creep I need to scrub a scrubber zone scrub at drone that will cover most of here there would be a good place so I'll probably need one round about here as well I need that mine up and running like right now as well because otherwise I'm gonna run out of nanites okay so where's my mine there that is potash that is iron that one's iron as well and there's another geothermal vent over there that I'm trying to get towards as well so cool Build me some of that. And then I'll have another look at scrubber drones. So I've got a scrubber drone. I needed just to make sure that I was securing my supply of nanites or I would be in trouble. So that's kind of covering there. So if I built it about here, that'll cover a lot of that. one here so probably one about there because I don't think I'm going to build too much further out in that direction okay so that's all my scrubber drones and that should hopefully keep the creep away it's covering most of the base if it gets uh, particularly thick or bad or whatever creep does in any particular area then I will start to upgrade but that won't give me any, again, extra area on the drones. It'll just give me some extra drones to help out. Okay, so scrubber drones are done. They're starting to build towards the mine. Boss, I've compiled some feedback to help guide you in the 93% of the vote. Scrubber drones are working on the creep, which is great. 93% in favour. We need more housing. Um, and they're a little bit unhappy about crime. Apparently, let's have a look at that. <gasps> oh, it's pretty bad. Okay. I think a police place around here would be a very good idea. Um, that's not too bad. I could maybe do with like upgrading the existing one. As well, there we are. We'll just see what kind of effect that had. That brought most of it down. Um, There's I'll... a referendum election coming up soon, and I have some feedback from your colonists. Ninety-three percent of the vote. I don't really need your feedback for that, thank you. If it was less than that, I would be worried. We're in another one here, I think. There we are, so they're all quite happy with crime now, which is good. I'm still looking to get that extra little bit of power going. Um, I've consulted with the inhabitants of the colony, and they've given me some feedback that might help them. Wow, the food is going down quick. Okay, so we need to work on some agriculture again, I think. Take the crime overlay off. So we kind of neglected the agriculture a little bit in while we were doing everything else. And uh, in the meantime, the population of the colony is growing quite a lot. The farm is not connected. Okay. So another tunnel got taken out. That's probably not helping with the food situation. Once we're through the winter, though, it should start to go up again. Congratulations so on your it. referendum victory, boss. Okay. Great. I'm more worried about food than anything else at the moment. Okay, what I'm going to do then is turn the greenhouse back to melons. Which should help. And I'm going to build some more greenhouses. So I'm going to put some tunnels. 
Oh, what's it talking about now? Food is low and insufficient housing. Right, so what I'm going to do now, because we're a little bit short on the old food, is I'm just going to put a quick um, immigration ban on. There. Which will help with this a little bit. Um, I'm just going to make a tunnel going along there and then I'll put farms or greenhouses just along there. Maybe greenhouses. Uh, let's have a look. Tier 2 greenhouse. Well, you we can grow quite a lot of melons there then. That looks quite a nice place for growing lots of melons. So we can build a couple of them. Along there. Should be fairly happy because they can go around this way to get to those buildings, around this way to get to the greenhouses. Um, and then we're going to be pretty much out of nanites at that point. But that's okay. I think that should sort the food situation out. And then it'll just be a housing issue. 304 of 304 housing used. So we're not too bad, it's just everything is full. And I'm reasonably happy with that. So they haven't quite finished building the greenhouses. As soon as they have, I expect to see this shoot right up. Can make them do that a little bit quicker. That would be great. Still low. A geothermal vent is about to erupt. And will cause major air quality problems. And will seep in through intake vans. Um, geothermal generators prevent toxic emissions from any geothermal vents they cover. Go to. Okay. So it's that one. So I need to very quickly, with my 18 nanites. Oh, gee. Chose a time when I had hardly any nanites, didn't it? Typical. I need 24 nanites. Okay, so... Just save up the nanites, and as soon as I can, I'll build a geotherm over it. Oh no. Come on, 21. This is going to be horrible for the air quality. Right, I need construction drones. Okay. And nanites to build those. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Toxic fumes incoming. I'm I am trying, okay. I've got to wait for five more nanites. Luckily it's not a very populated area of the colony. 21. 22. 23, 24. No. No, they're not in range. What? Surely they're in range. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Surely they're in range. Come on. They're like right by it. Oh, come on. Come on. That's like right there. <clears throat> this is going to cause me horrible problems. Horrible, horrible problems. I can't believe I just didn't have enough. Oh, so annoying. I was so close to getting over there as well. Okay. Look how close that was. Okay, all I can do is build tunnels closer and build another construction hub closer. Like there. Hope for the best. OK. 
Okay, build it. I have like no nanites now. How's the mine doing? Are they dead are they? What's the air quality like? I dread to even look at it. Okay. It's actually not as bad as it could be. I'm just going to actually turn the speed up a little bit so that I Because all I can do is wait for the nanites. Oh, it's like passing. Okay. But we don't really want that to go over the base particularly. It'll blow away. Okay. And we've got storms. And we've got toxic fumes. I thought that was a lot worse than it than it actually was. It, it might cause some problems with happiness, but... Ah, well. They're unhappy. That's alright. Okay, let's keep going. Let's just keep going. It's going to cause some unhappiness where it blows over. But I think it'll miss some of this colony on this side. Low food again. All oh, right, we're into winter again, but we've got a couple of thousand food and we've got greenhouses that are working quite well now, so that's fine. These are dispersing. It's nice that it was like miles out. Insufficient housing. I really want to get the power plants onto those uh, geothermal vents, so I don't want that happening again. Oh, that was horrible. They're really unhappy from that. If I look at the happiness. The guys out here are just not happy at all. There's an apartment there and they're not very happy either. Let's see what I can do. Crime, entertainment. Entertainment's really bad apparently. Give them a bar and grill. What more do they want? Okay, I think I need to just build some more entertainment out here. Maybe some shopping. Maybe just a shop. Let's build a retail centre out here. It's becoming a bit of a more built up bigger area, so I don't see why not. See, that made them a bit happier. Right, the guys out here are going to need an apartment as well. And then I am going to need that geotherm because I'm going to start to run out of power. Now let's have a look at the mine. Still got 248 recoverable, so that's fine. And then we can start looking at getting Zorium. How much is in that Zorium node? 5,000. That's good. But by the time we get to the Zorium, we'll be right near the object anyway. Ha ha ha. So I'm liking this, because I'm like having to actually do a bit more colony management rather than just sort of going for the objective as much. And I like that a lot better. Although they're not all very happy. 83% happiness. Like the, the outer parts of the base are always going to be the least happy. Unless you build disproportionately large amounts of structures there to keep them happy. Oh, they might have quite a long commute. Maybe I should build a bigger habitat or something out there for them as well. Gonna end up with a little mini colony over here. Okay, so we could make some more greenhouses as well. To help with the food situation a bit. But yeah, it's the housing situation that is the real problem at the moment. And I'm actually gonna just build a habitat over here. For the shopping centre. They're all a little bit out of line now, unfortunately, but I'll just build a couple of structures there or a, I don't know, a tunnel or something. I hate things that are out of line. It sucks. Oh, there's no tunnel there. How are people supposed to get out to that power station? That's quite often what they mean when they say not enough tunnels. You, you need a lot of redundancy in your tunnels. And I don't always build that as much as I should. I really need to move this construction 
construction drone site cross one or two low food variety too many too many melons apparently so what I'll do is I'll build another greenhouse over here and I'm just going to change it to be something different so that's going to help me in the, in the winter months quite a lot so that's what else is quite good is granola any good? no is rice any good? rice is okay corn is uh, kind of okay 30% broccoli is better barley is good right we're going to go with barley then and we can get our mill making a few different things and that will help with food variety as well so that's not really doing anything at the moment so we can make some bread we can make some pasta porridge all that sort of thing porridge pasta we do that for a few cycles and they have that increases the variety they're making pasta and porridge and bread and those can all come from the barley, really. And when they run out of that, they can make flour. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And we're running out of power as well. So, it's time for the geotherm to go down. And get connected up. Oh, and now it's summertime. Horrible winter is over, and it's summer again. Uh, we probably should just pick that up. Nanite's jewelry and vodka. I like that. Creep spores. Oh no. Okay, so I need a scrubber station in here. Where's the nearest scrubber station? It's just there. So I need to wait for some nanites. Okay, we'll just increase the speed a bit. So the scrubber station here only goes to there. So having one about about here would be a good place, I think. Insufficient power. Well, hopefully once the uh, creep infection goes away, we'll have a bit of a bit more of a, a chance of getting some power in here. So let's build an apartment building and a bar and grill. Just to give us some entertainment out in the sticks. Pasta produce, uh, production halted. Milk. I don't mind that. I just wanted to, I just wanted a bit of variety on my food. So they've actually eaten a lot of the oatmeal. Actually, Antari oatmeal. We could have some Entari going on here. And then we could get Antari oatmeal and we could make porridge out of that, I think. Entari porridge or something. I don't know if that counts as food or whether it's an ingredient. I think it's food. Oh no! Which one? Seriously, I can't put geotherms on everything they're all miles away as well it's so annoying I think I may need to just wait for that one to pass unfortunately I want that now right I'm gonna I'm gonna build some more tunnels out this way see how far we can get that will certainly help us with the power situation and put another geothermal uh, power station on there. don't really want to go out this way as much. And I'm not probably going to be able to by the time that erupts, so we're going to have to just be careful, you know, just ride it out, I think. The people are generally quite happy, so I think they can survive a little bit of trouble with their air being a bit of a worse quality. Right there, quality is getting quite bad out that way. But over here it's actually very good. It's like 92%, so they can cope with a little bit of a dip. 